All right, what you are looking at is an outdoor little shed unit built off a carport. Uh, let's see what I had. This whole unit right here, this whole area where you got the electrical conduit running. This was built in, ran across here, attached to the hardy board right here. That's why it's damaged. Why did I take it out? Well, we had termites. Uh, termites at least don't eat hardy board, which is beautiful. Thank God. Uh, there is a... The uh, drip edge on the roof where they built the shed, they attached it like that and they caulked it. But then, of course, the caulk shrunk and cracked and the water came down through here and there was a whole termite nest in here. They pretty much consumed the shed. This is one of the walls. There's the other wall. And they had, you know, two by fours, which are not pressure treated, just on the bottom plate. I wish it was just on pressure treated. I'd you know, pay the extra. It was already existing when I purchased the house. Uh, they put the plywood on the inside, put the electrical, a little overkill. I, mean, I get it, but this whole area was eaten up. I ripped it out. You know, the wall ran down here, it ran over. I can see it this way. They had the, you know, the water at least did not get into the house. And like I said, the termites didn't get into the hardy board. This is just damage from removing the freaking shed from the house. So this will be not easy, but this will be replaced. These are just hardy boards. You know, they're already loose. I'll just pop them, you know, pop the nails out, pull out the broken uh, slats, the pieces, run them there. There's like three here that are going to be replaced. Maybe go a little further here, replace three of those. Some of the corner wood was uh, where the uh, siding butts up to was destroyed. I just, I actually just said, screw it. I just got some Bondo epoxy and I reformed it and made filled all this in because that was all destroyed from the from the uh, water damage and tearing the shed out yeah man that was interesting they use screws and nails so this piece here will be easy just one piece on this wall to replace hardy board replace i read about it. you know just pop the nails out gotta cut the caulking pop up the uh plank under it get to the nails slowly pop them out or even cut them with a multi-tool i'll get to it oh uh, you can see that here the plan was i don't know i was gonna rip the whole damn thing down but you know, with this conduit, I'm going to have to reroute this or maybe just freaking take it out and put a junction box here and just say, who needs electrical out here? It's just a dumb little shed. But anyway, I'll probably just get some guy to reroute that for me. Uh, what else? And I'm just going to build a wall in and put the roof on. It's a tin roof right there. And then anything with freaking houses, dude. So even up here in this corner with the rain coming off, uh you got gaps now just aging of a house man i gotta get some foam insulation and seal up some of these holes the bugs were over here as well the termites and that was uh this part was just dry rotted so again i used bondo just to fill it in it was just a small area you know dug out the decay put in the bondo boom whatever sanded down it was fine it's just a messy business uh yeah and uh primed it all up right now so i primed over the bugs are because that was all dark with the stain of the termites and all that crap where they were hanging out. So I did a lot of primer on that puppy and uh, getting ready now just to replace the planks. And then after I replace the planks, I'll just put in a wall here. One wall, seal it up nicely along the, uh, along the uh, house wall right here. Reseal all that again with some heavy duty caulking to prevent any water damage. I uh, got to redo the roof, you know, no big deal, but a big deal because I got to find some tin roofing. Just again, it's just small pieces. It's hard to find just small pieces of this crap. So I'll probably have extra stuff. So, and I got some water damage over here, like I said. Uh, some broken covers as well. I, I don't know, man. I'm so sick of it. I'd like to get the extra space back. But what they did is they put in a plywood along the edge because it was all housed in right they're trying to make it dry but it's always been wet when i bought it i should have known better during an inspection go why is this always wet in here he even had a dehumidifier in here and then you usually have this mesh here they tore that out and put in the plywood basically because this was enclosed i don't know man I like simple is better when people overcomplicate their houses, even with a shed, it just adds more problems down the road. <laughs> Cause like there's more water damage. Not even, I don't even think this is pressure treated. This might be pressure treated right here. It has to be. And then I got this plywood rotting. 
Got the damn dogs in the neighborhood barking. All right. Uh, <laughs> life with neighbors, guys. Oh, uh, yeah. You can see some of this. See, you can see some of the leftover termite trails. I got it all. Sprayed them pretty damn good. House is going to be tented. They, help, they call it tenting down here. And they pretty much pump in this gas that'll kill anything. Of course, you're not in it. you got to vacate for a day or two. But you can see the trail right there. See the termite? Freaking termites, dude. Freak, I mean, I'm telling you. I don't know. I don't know what to do. Owning a house is a pain in the ass. Uh, second thought, I'd be running. But then, but then Crypto Jim. Crypto Jim. Yeah, this is all going to be replaced. So don't freak. I just primed it for the hell of it. I just put tape over it for now just to keep any water from seeping in behind. And I'm going to pop these boards out, just replace it. Everything's closed today. But I'll eventually go down and get the replacement. Look, it's just hardy board, cement board. And I'll pop that out and uh, get that all replaced and get the paint, repaint it to whatever this stupid yellow color is. But yeah, house ownership, guys. Let's talk about it. They, I think it's a lie. They sell you this lie, own your house, right? Own your house. It's the American dream. And remember what I said, George Carlin. The famous George Carlin quote, it's called the American dream because you have to be asleep to believe it. So they're going, well, but, but Crypto Jim, if you got a 30 year mortgage uh, at a great rate, your, your mortgage is going to be the same. Your mortgage will always be the same. And that's not true. You know why? Because you have escrow. Uh, escrow, what is that? What is that, Crypto Jim? Well, escrow is where they set aside money to pay your home insurance and your incredible property taxes. And guess what? America is declining, it's uh, failing, and everything's going up in value. Inflation, even insurance and property tax. So what happens? Every February, the mortgage companies go through and they reassess if they're charging enough of your monthly payment to stick into escrow. Ours just went up 300 bucks. So we had a uh, fixed mortgage. Uh-uh, it's up now. So there's your, that kind of destroys the debate of, well, if you own, your pricing monthly expense won't go up. Bull, bull crap. Uh, if you're rent locked in the rent, at least you got a year. But uh, with the mortgage, it's going to go up. It's going to keep going up. So home ownership is a major expense. It's not a fixed monthly payment. It's a ripoff, guys. Maintenance cost. So I'm going to have to pay 5600 bucks to get the house pretty much fumigated to make sure I mitigated all the uh, all the bugs and then I got some dry rot I'm replacing what I can there's one post like this which is dry rotted up here I can't get to its load bearing so I'm gonna have uh, friends construction company come in and do it because I can't do load bearing stuff I don't have the jacks to do it again more money more money more problems uh, owning a house not for me buddy I would love to dump this house is in I mean again it's just Wear and tear, and down where I'm at, all these houses. If mine is like this, and I take care of my house and try to keep up with it, I can only imagine what the other houses around here are like. They're probably totally infested and falling apart. So I'm debating whether to take this out and just put the mesh back. How much work you put into it is the juice worth the squeeze? But yeah, this has got to get rewired, rerouted, or taken out completely. I really don't care at this point. Uh, I don't use the shed. It's more of just a uh, selling point at this point. But where I'm at, houses sell within 30 days. It's a hot spot. So I'm not worrying about it way too much. So yeah, housing is a... House ownership is a lie. Don't fall for it. <clears throat> you got the high mortgage now. You got the high interest, high interest rate. I mean, you're locked in. And uh, you got maintenance costs. You got property tax. You got insurance. Your HVAC is going to go. Let's, watch, let's walk over to the HVAC. Do, 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 do. Walk on over to the age back. Here I got the rainbird. Again, this previous owner put all this crap, extra crap on. I don't buy, believe in all this stuff. This is an irrigation system. Just more, more systems that can fail over time. He's got the external generator hookup, which is good for down here in case you have an external generator. I'm personally not going to uh, have a gas one. I'll just get a battery one, but we'll see. Here's the old power panel here's the sub panel they put on lots of additions man you go as a house gets older you just see people adding and adding stuff just keep it simple is my attitude like on a boat the less systems you have on a boat the less things that can go wrong 
Oh, uh, yeah, like I was going to say, you got HVACs. Oh, let's go over here. HVAC is always going to go bad. That's at least 5000 bucks if you replace the compressors and the uh, units upstairs. I just stepped through a cobweb. There's the HVACs. This one's a rud. That's not mine. There's my little unit over there. They go bad. Uh, let's see. What else? Oh, there's an outside electrical that I got to replace. That just got all rusted through. Again, the guy just overdid the house. Just keep it simple, dude. It's just more crap I got to repair. He put in an external lighting, which is all well and good, but, you know, I don't want to pay electricity cost just to uh, show my decoration in my house. Who cares what the Joneses think? I do not care. Again, half these bulbs are bad. They're all halogen, so they burn hot. They use a lot of watts. Not good. They should be replaced with uh, LEDs, but I don't use them, so I'm not touching it. Uh, yeah, keep your house simple. There's another one. Uh, there's the damn sprinkler things. They break all the time. They're five bucks a pop. You got to replace those because they'll just shoot water straight up in the air. Now, oh, there's a golf ball. Damn golf balls. I live near a golf course. Damn golf balls come in and they put holes in your hardy board or in your truck windows. Like right there. They'll put a hole in it. Not on this one, but on our other car, we had a window, a hole put in from a golf ball. Let's see what else we got going on here. Ah, just all this little crap you got to do. Here's the outside of the shed. There's the roof. This side seems to be okay. At least the previous owner did redo the uh, facade work, the, pla the, uh, the boarding, corner boards, the fascia, all that stuff. All these corner boards are now uh, Aztec boards. Aztec, bo Aztec boards are all uh, polyurethane, which will, not, which will last forever because they're plastic. No more of this wood crap, man. Freaking houses are made of wood. They're not going to last. The damn bugs, the dry rot. It's just ridiculous that they even consider using wood. But it's for cost, right? So as Aztec boards, polyurethane boards with hardy board is good. Because, again, no bugs, no bugs, no dry rot, no dry rot. Uh, everything else, wood, forget it. Oh, my God. Give me a solid brick house, baby. But uh, what else on home ownership? HVAC. We have a pool back here, and the freaking plaster is already chipping off. God, another freaking expense. If I rent it, guess what? I would just call the landlord. Hey, yeah, your pool's chipping. You might want to look at getting it plastered again, blah, blah, blah. I'm done. I, I go to work. I go out to, out to the pool, or I go somewhere, and it's no longer my concern. Uh, they may raise my rent next month or next year, but who cares? It's going to go up anyway if I had a mortgage, and then I don't have to incur that cost of fixing the damn pool. Fixing the damn HVAC. I already fixed that. We had a, uh, an allowance when we uh, purchased the house. He gave us a couple bucks. Like He did, you know, took, knocked off 7,000 bucks. Because we said the HVAC was getting old. And said, okay. So that helped. Which was surprising we got that. Oh, there's some old freaking motion sensor crap. Junk. Uh, there's one up there. Junk. I got to take that out. It's just all this crap, man. Quit putting stuff on your house. It's just going to break. It'll work for like a year, if that. And then you got to replace it. Just sick of it. Keep it simple. I just want a house that doesn't fall apart, <laughs> doesn't dry rot, it doesn't get bugs. Oh my God. Yeah. So the bug, the bug spraying is going to be fifty six hundred bucks. We had truly no one before, and they came in and they didn't even catch that termite in that thing. That's how bad some of these companies are. They just want to get you to pay the money, and then they're gone. They'll show, they'll come by and fake spray around the house with water or something fake. You know, it's such bullshit. And uh, they didn't even catch the termites in this shit. I'm just like, how, 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 show me you guys suck by showing me you guys suck. So truly no one ripped us off for like 3000 bucks plus a couple years of service. Yeah. Yeah. What a joke. What a freaking joke. Uh, don't trust these termite guys. Don't trust them at all. Unless you have a good reference from somebody. All right. That's all I got. I'm just really not digging home ownership at this point. I would love just to be renting and uh, have that freedom to go where I want to go and not have to worry about all this freaking home maintenance cost. Increased insurance, increased oh, HOA fees have gone up, and they also do these special assessment fees, which I pretty much joke, I'm so, well, these special assessment fees are pretty much becoming daily assessment fees. Uh, yeah, HOA fees, home insurance, and um, what's the other one? Uh, property tax, everything's going up. All right, that's all I got. How was your homeowner experience? Is it suck like this? Or it's just gonna, it's just a bottomless pit.
freaking, it's small stuff, but it adds up. I mean, you're talking, let's see, HVAC. Oh, I can't wait for the roof to go. Jeez. It's just a pain in the butt. I think renting's where it's at. I think the globalists are right. You're going to own nothing and you're going to like it. <laughs> All right. On that note, I'm out. Take care.